Hi Pisces, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of August. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. Also, I'll choose a few oracle cards for additional messages or information. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first two cards will be the awareness for the week. Okay, so we're starting with the big idea of prosperity and abundance. The Ace of Pentacles, gifts or blessings or hints from the universe. So you see the big pentacle here and you see like this little opening. If you walk through there, then you have the opportunity for prosperity, for abundance, for good relationships, good health. It's really such a wonderful, wonderful card and tarot to, to have. And so it really goes to the sense of using the strengths and the characteristics of pentacles to help you get there, which is have a plan, nurture and work hard, be focused on what you're doing in order to help create and build this abundance within your life. Keep your eye on what you're doing. And if you do these things, if you are pretty grounded and using a common sense approach, then uh, you should be able to be able to walk through this portal here to prosperity and happiness. On a smaller level, this could be unexpected money coming your way that maybe you find money as you're cleaning out a closet or going through your pants before you do laundry and you find a dollar, you find a five dollar bill, whatever it is, you could find money on the ground or maybe someone's paying you back. So starting off with the opportunity here based on what you do for prosperity and uh, good things to come. So we also have another pentacle card with the six of pentacles and this is about giving and receiving. And so with pentacles, uh, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is when you're in a position to help, help others. You don't have to give just money. It can be your time. It can be support. It could be a phone call. It could be a referral. Uh, when you need assistance, don't be afraid to ask for it. More often than not, people want to help. They want to uh, respond in a favorable way if they're able to. So ask for help if you need it. Don't be, you know, shy. And if you're in a position to be giving and to be loving and to be able to help someone out, then do so. So this, this could be a week where you are maybe... Uh, sharing some of your good fortune or your unexpected windfall with someone uh, or helping them out in a small way. So uh, let's see what we have for guidance. Ooh. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups, a charming, handsome knight, loving, kind, energy, able to handle emotions, sensitive and aware, you know, very aware of people's feelings, uh, dreamy, there's a sense of dreaminess here is coming, offering you the cup. This could be an offering, this could be an opportunity for those that are single, for those that are looking. You could be going out on dates with a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or you could be uh, just connecting or working with someone who is very um, in tune with their own emotions and has such a loving and tender touch with others. And so uh, simply, uh, I think the, the Knight of Cups 
you know, the only thing that I would say to be mindful of is that sometimes it's a lot of good ideas and not a lot of follow through. And it comes up with some grand ideas and may just not, um, you know, see them through. But really this, the energy and the characteristics here are of someone who's very loving, romantic, aware, and dreamy. And so this is very interesting as it's right next to the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is this opportunity for a soulmate, for a transforming relationship, one that is so deep and so full of opportunity and possibilities and depth of love. You know, of love that's equal, that's balanced, where there's harmony, where you see eye to eye and you're able to express that love in a very authentic and real way. So for those that are single, you know, perhaps your, your night is coming into you and this is the relationship you're looking for. A really one to pay attention to. If you are married, if you're in a committed relationship, this is an opportunity to even take it more uh, emotionally deep to build greater intimacy and uh, again the two of cups it's the possibility the opportunity for this transformative and amazing relationship and so this amazing relationship, you know, this Ace of Pentacles is not just about resources, it's about relationships too, of really finding happiness in relationships. So let's look at possible, oh my goodness, wow, it's, this is all about the love, all about the love, Ace of Cups. Another gift or blessing from the universe telling you that you, you have the, the chance here for this great emotional connection with someone. Love, soulmate, happiness. There's so much happiness here in this reading. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, um, Two of Cups. So... You make the most of this love. I mean, this is just, uh, you know, the Ace of Cups is about good health. It's about emotionally connecting. It's about expressing your love and counting your blessings for this type of love. And, and if you're in a relationship, again, it goes to that strengthening and deepening. If you are searching and hoping to manifest love, this bodes beautifully well. And if you're really kind of in, not in any of those camps, if you're in your, on your own and not looking, this goes to all relationships because you have relationships with people and you have loving relationships, either with your family or your friends, your coworkers. And it's the happiness and the delight and the joy that comes from these relationships. And then as a possible outcome, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups, which is feeling fulfilled, feeling content, wish fulfillment, happiness. So if you're hoping for the soulmate relationship, state your intention, clear, you know, make your intention known. Think of your dreams. And so I just, um, the emotional and the love here is fantastic. And so, you know, when we see a reading like this, what we don't see, we don't see any major arcana cards and we don't see any wands or swords. We're talking about emotions. We're talking about relationships possibilities of deep transformative love and of prosperity on in all fronts on all fronts so now let's take a look at the cards 
uh, oracle cards for meditation or focus area for the week. The word Lord, communication, praise, and then dishonesty. Well, you know, I think the, the focus for the week is to focus on how you relate and how you speak to others, what you say, and to be um, authentic in what you're, how you're expressing your feelings for someone else. Successful relationships require successful communication, the ability to really say what's in your heart, on your mind. And the praise needs to be coming from an authentic and true place. And so the dishonesty goes toward the shadow of this card is that, um, that, you know, Careful with your words, you know, be truthful, Fe state how you truly feel. So now let's get a card for spirit or emotional self. Animal kingdom, kingdom, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open up your heart and soul. So I like the opening up of the heart and soul because we really get a sense of that with these cups, very strong and compelling cup cards for you. So animals are are wonderful companions and have unconditional love for us and so i get a sense here that there's unconditional love coming your way and finally let's see what the love cards would like to add to this very loving reading joy. You have joy coming to you. I'm so delighted. What a powerful and lovely reading. Lots of joy, prosperity, abundance in, in spirit, in relationships on all fronts. This is really nice and man, I hope you have an awesome, awesome week. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment is always very helpful. And thank you so much for your time, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.